Hi Scorpio, welcome to your Week Ahead Taroscope with me, Raphael, from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and if you should so choose and it resonates, hit that subscribe button. If you are already a continued subby, you know I love you for it. With that said, if you would like to book a personal reading with me, you can do so on the website address below. And before we start, as always, I would like to bless all of my decks or my deck of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity and abundance and I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. So this week for your key to the week you had the strength card right so whenever we see the strength card there's a few things that come up uh, in the original Rider weight deck she has a Mobius veil above her head so this always reminds you that come what may you have always managed to find yourself exactly where you are so you always have the strength you just need to find the courage to get through whatever it is that you're working on now the other thing with the strength card um, you see this the, the the figure right the woman she's holding um, the the jaws of a lion she's kind of holding them shut and that for me this is about really taming that wild creature or you know that we call the heart because Leo the strength card rules Leo and it rules the heart so what you're being asked to do is tame your emotions it's about taking that emotional energy and finding a way to channel it into the things that you want so your strength card is your key to the week is basically saying this week you're going to be asked what is it that you truly want in your heart of hearts in the depth of who you are what is it one that you truly value and two that you truly want what is it that you really desire and for a lot of you this is going to have a lot to do with partnerships with relationships what is it that you want when you envision uh, a relationship a marriage when you envision the one what does that actually look like to you what does it actually feel like to you do you do you really have a good enough idea or understanding of what that is the strength card is basically saying this week you're going to be asked to really look at this stuff um, and maybe just maybe it's because it's you know it's time for especially for those of you that are looking to align with a relationship maybe it's time so for your actions and your path ahead this week you have the hermit right the holly king so this is interesting right because i talked about you know kind of delving into your feelings you, your hermit card can sometimes be a quest sometimes it can be uh, a vision quest of sorts right and in this deck it's the holly king this is about going into the depths of what you actually feel and it's about you really asking the question what do I actually want? The fact that this falls in your actions and your path, this week you're going to be very proactive about seeking the things that you want and actually starting to understand what they are and really thinking about what it is that's going to get you to them. Um, I don't know why, but I'm feeling, I don't know if it's the right word, but there's something very motivational about this. It's kind of like you're really motivated to get to the depths of one of your own feelings. There's something kicking around, maybe in your psyche, maybe in your consciousness, consciousness maybe just in your emotional body and it feels to me like this week you're kind of saying you know what I want to know what that is like I can I can feel it I want you to show me <laughs> all jokes aside it does feel like there's a feeling that is arising within you that this week you're asking yourself what is that or maybe not necessarily what is the feeling but what is the source of it so it's going to present you this week with an opportunity to really be honest with yourself about what you want and about what you really feel about a situation or a specific person powerful stuff with your communications and conversations you have the page of pentacles uh, for a select few of you this is going to see you asking a big question about is it business or is it pleasure there's somebody coming into your life and i don't feel like this is someone that's coming in actually i feel like this is somebody that's already there uh, and i don't know for a lot of you because the hermit card tends to be older persons you know so these would be people that are older than you right and the feeling that i get from this is there's someone maybe in your work maybe in your environment maybe in your niche maybe in your business um whoever this person is you guys can't deny the chemistry it's absolutely there like you can feel it they can feel it it's palpable you know maybe both of you get a bit sort of edgy or antsy when you're in each other's presence maybe you rub each other the wrong way because you know that you like each other 
This week you're gonna be asked to really look at is it for business or is it for pleasure because it can't be both. Uh, it's um, No, actually that's not fair of me to say. It can be, but it rarely is. So this is gonna be one of those times where your own discernment's gonna to have to come in. Your page of pentacles is about the work, it's about the skills, it's about what you're doing. And you're talking about this with this person. So I kind of feel like the feeling that you're, you've got on the inside is probably one of deep emotion, maybe connection, maybe even, you know, you've got a little bit of a an itch that only a certain person can scratch. But it looks like this week you're really observing, okay, you know what, what is it about this person that I'm drawn to and why is it that I feel this way towards them? Is it for business or is it for pleasure? You're gonna have to figure out which one it is, Scorpio. For your money and materials, you have the Nine of Swords. Um, this is interesting for me. For those of you that have a personal business, it does look like you might be concerned about the finances. The problem that I have with this card and with the card that it comes from the Page of Pentacles, there isn't any problem. You're creating one. It's kind of like you're just in your own mind. Maybe it's because you're not seeing the exact monetary figure that you want. Maybe it's because, you know, the savings account has been depleted a little bit. Like, it's almost like you're looking at it this week and it's like a mountain is a molehill. I don't actually see that there is a problem. I think you're making a problem for yourself. Um, I've got to be honest, Scorpio, this is me calling you out. Okay, uh, <laughs> and you guys know me, I kind of give it to you as it comes up. The finances are not in as bad shape as you might be convincing yourself that they are. And by thinking that, you're gonna draw it in. So now is the time for you to get out of your head and start really uh, aligning, or not even aligning, start putting your thoughts where they should be. Because at the moment, it feels like because you don't see what you want to see, uh, it's like, oh, well, you know, th that's it then. Gonna be destitute tomorrow, I'll be on the streets. Like, don't hype it up, you know, because if you latch on to that idea, that's what you're gonna start to manifest. For your love and relations, you have the death card. So it does look like for some of you, when it comes to relationships, there's a big decision to be made. This is, and you know, before you get to this point, you're gonna to have to go through this point, right? And your strength card is basically saying, what do you really want? What are your feelings telling you? What are your feelings towards a certain person saying to you at this moment in time? The decision is upon you, right? So by the time we get to the end of this week, it's not so much that you have to have your entire life figured out, it's more a case of you do have to have your own feelings figured out. So take this week to really delve into it, to ask yourself, what is it about this person that actually draws me to them? Is it for business or is it for pleasure? Take your pick, it doesn't matter which one it is, but you do need to get to that point of realization. For, your, um, for those of you that are single, this is not a great week for love, I have to say. Um, it does look like something in that respect might be coming to an end. Maybe because some of you are moving to that point of, you know what, I actually want something more serious and I kind of am at the point where I understand that it's only a certain person that's gonna be able to give me that. That's a really brilliant and very big place to be, um, but the realization at least is there. For those of you that are uh, partnered, it does look like you and a partner are having a conversation this week about how work is affecting the relationship uh, and something is going to need to be put into place. If it's not made, at, if the decision isn't made at this point over the course of this week, or it's certainly, um, you know, something put in place from this week, it may at a later date become a really, um, really big problem so it's it's my it's in your best interests now for those of you that are partnered to sort this now how can you find ways to build more time together or maybe you know let the business or the work or the job uh, not cost you so much or cost the relationship so much it's time to consider that with that said, I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. Going to be an interesting week for you guys, for sure. Ah, and also, you have two nines here. Nines are about endings or completions or sewing things up and taking them to the next level. Only you can decide what that is for you. Take care, and I'll see you soon.